Fighting in France with the same 103rd Infantry Division in which Paul Fussell served was a soldier with an unusual name, Joseph Medicine Crow. Born on the Crow Indian Reservation near Lodge Grass, Montana in 1913, he attended a Baptist mission school, was the first of his people to graduate from college, and was studying for an advanced degree in anthropology when the war began. But he had also been raised by his elders in the warrior tradition. My grandfather trained me to be a warrior. The Crow Indians were so-called warlike. They are militaristic from way back. The Crows had defended their lands against the Lakota and Cheyenne for generations and had allied themselves with the United States during the Plains Wars. One of Joe Medicine Crow's grandfathers had been a scout for George Armstrong Custer before the Battle of the Little Bighorn. My paternal grandfather, great war chief Medicine Crow, he was considered the bravest warrior of all time. So he was also my inspiration to follow in his footsteps. He kept training me to become a warrior in order to have status in becoming a warrior, climbing up the ladder of success to become a chief. He must perform certain dangerous war deeds. To be considered a chief, a Crow warrior had to touch a living enemy, take an enemy's weapon, steal an enemy's horse, and lead a victorious war party. Whenever he went into battle in Europe, Joe Medicine Crow would paint red stripes on his arms beneath his uniform, and he carried in his helmet a sacred yellow-painted eagle feather provided by a Sundance medicine man to shield him from harm. He would need that power. He was asked to lead a seven-man squad carrying explosives through a wall of artillery fire to blast German positions along the Siegfried Line. Then, he helped capture a German village. We hit a German town, and I was assigned to take the back alley and come behind the Germans who were in the main street. So I did. I ran up there, and I saw an opening near a gate there. Um, this is a wall there. So I ran up there, and a German soldier was running there. We bumped head. <laughs> it's helmets. And so <laughs> I swung my rifle, and I just rifle off his hands. There he was standing. All I had to do was pull the trigger. But for some reason, I put my gun down and tore into him. <laughs> then we had it out. You know. <laughs> He had me down, <laughs> but I turned him over and <laughs> grabbed him by the <laughs> throat, you know. <laughs> I was ready to kill him. <laughs> then his last words were, Mama, Mama. When he went with that word, Mama, opened my ears, I let him go. Without quite meaning to, Joe Medicine Crow had performed three out of the four traditional war deeds he needed to become a war chief like his grandfather. He had led a successful war party. He had touched an enemy warrior and taken away his weapon. The only thing left 
was to capture some horses. I was a scout for my company. We were going along the road on top of the mountain, small mountain. And I was ahead of my company, and I caught up with some horseback riders. And I had my field guys, I looked at them, they're Germans, you know. So I followed them. The Germans took over a farmhouse. The horses were pastured outside, some 50 of them. So we surrounded the place there when it got an attack early in the morning. So uh, I was sitting there with a CO, and uh, we waited. And finally, towards morning, I said, the captain said, I have an idea. Said, if you give me five minutes before I jump off, I'll stampede their horses. So we went in there, opened that gate. Uh, there were some guards sitting in the shed there. So I went behind there and got a horse there. And I put my <laughs> little rope and made an Indian bridle, you know, double half hitch. I got on it and I stampeded the horses out of there. So I headed out. And I, as soon as I left, why, they, <laughs> they opened fire over there. And... <laughs> But I took off. So these were not ordinary horses. And uh, I looked at them, they were beautiful. And the one I was riding was a, a sorrow with a blade. So I felt pretty good. So I looked around. Pretty soon I sang a song, you know, <laughs> praise song, you know. <laughs> When Joe Medicine Crow returned home after the war, a tribal ceremony was held to welcome him. The old elders wanted to know what my wardies. And I started thinking about it, you know, and uh, I mentioned those horses. You have completed the four Ds. I know it's all about it. <laughs> so I guess you're looking at the last Plains Indian war chief. <laughs>